Hello BB Gangsters, this is Calvin, also known as Romer, and this is my first ever playthrough of Genshin Impact, and we have another Welkin gift. Um, we've gotten two now, we've gotten two Welkins off of two subscribers, and I thank you so much for that. We've also gotten something else. If you didn't see the community note, or the community post, uh, we got something much, much uh, different as well, uh, and also appreciated. And that is, if we go into this section here, you can see that now we have 11,724... Uh, gems with three, uh, <laughs> with three, um, uh, what you call those uh, uh, intertwined fates. So we can now wish to our heart's content. Uh, I'm going to be really TV show S, so we have nothing to worry about when we do this. We will be doing this today. Uh, we're going to do our commissions, and then we're going to do that right away. I know that's like so like, tune in later on to see the polls. Um, that's what's gonna happen. And you might notice you have less welkins. I have broken the rule because I said I would. Um, since people have donated real money, which means something, money means something. No matter how much it is, money means something. Um, and, you know, a dollar, five dollars, ten dollars, it does, like, whatever it is, it, it means something. And that's why I feel like, uh, I have, I owe it to them to, like, not just log in every, like, three days a week. So I log in on my iPad now. Which has the same account, it's so cool. <laughs> uh, I'm okay, thank you though. Have a good day though. Anthony? The prescription just gets weirder. How's Anna doing? Oh, it's you. Well, it might sound hard to believe, but Anna says she's been f uh, feeling much better. Perhaps the doctor's prescription is really working? I can scarcely believe it myself. Well, regardless of whether it's true or not, it's best to keep going. The prescription this time is, uh, could you help me find thick condensate of hydro slime? I probably have the, yeah, this one sounds normal enough. I'm really, I actually think the opposite is true. At least it's easy to find. I've asked around, and they say that you can get thick condensed slime just by defeating large slimes. I've heard Jack say you can have uh, cure large slimes out, or lure large slimes out uh, by constantly defeating smaller ones. I don't have that kind of combat skills, so I'm counting on you. I think we have some of this. We have to have some of this. We don't. That's ridiculous. <laughs> what? <laughs> That is nuts. But there's other commissions around me. This is this is it though, is it? Okay, okay. The I, I forgot that this game is like so efficient in everything it does, and it just like it's never about like tricking you or making you do stuff that's tedious. It's like, hey, this is where it is. You know what I mean? Don't worry about it. This is where it is. That's like so <sighs> Other games do that, by the way. Other games do that. They do this thing where it's like, hey, what if, like, what if, hear me out, you have to, like, find these slimes now. Which, like, honestly, like, what happens in video games to me is that, like, I will be able to, I will fight three million slimes in a row. Then when I have to look for the slimes, you'll never find them. You know? That's what always happens to me. I think it's a job for Razor. Okay, what do we get? We got only a, we didn't get a thick one though. Maybe try over here. So you just have to lure them out by fighting smaller ones. The slime ones, you know what to do. Paimon knows me so well. So you have to lure them out by fighting. Oh, here we are. So this is the big boy we want. This is big boy central. Look at this. Our characters are really powerful now. We got it. Okay, yeah. Great. This wasn't one of those missions where it's like, hey, just explore this for the sake of it. It was like, here is exactly what you need to do. Have fun with it. So easy. So easy. And that's what the commission should be. They're just, they're just a bit bit of fun to start off a video. <gasps> have you found it yet? Yeah, I sure have. This really does look quite rich. Can you really use this to make medicine? I'll try it myself once it's done. Anything happens to me, please take Anna and place her in care of her sister Grace. Tell her that I've gone to work somewhere far abroad, and please, that is my final request. Hey, you're giving yourself a scare. Yeah, you're scaring yourself at this point. But this medicine does look scary, whatever the case, take it first. And remember what I said. I mean, it's it's noble of you. Um, but, like, at the same time, you are, like, worrying yourself. You're probably worrying yourself to death. Ah, I thought that was a run button. Uh, okay. So the next one is over here by Starfell Lake. It's funny, every single video, I still get comments of people being like, you know you don't actually have to do commissions? And like, I appreciate you. I appreciate 
that you're trying to help. Um, but every single video I say the same thing. I love doing commissions. It's like one of my favorite things ever. Uh, it's probably why like I, I absolutely adore playing this game right now is because like you start off, we just start off just doing commissions. And it, like it sets the tone. It, it makes me feel good about the video game we're about to play because I don't have to do like a crazy like amount. I think that like, you know, <laughs> it's kind of funny that you, I didn't even say this. But like, I think it'd be so interesting if games like if, if every game you ever played, like started you off with like a mini game. That's like when I'm playing Dong and Rumpa. I know it's gonna be a good day when we start off with like side taxi. You know what I mean? Oh yeah, we're gonna be proving something right by the way as well. Uh, that she does say make. Uh, no, she doesn't say make my escape. She says meet my ski. And we will be proving that right. Um, and I wanted, I wanted to prove that right for you guys as well because I feel like it's gone on for long enough. You know what I mean? It's too, it's, it's too much of a hassle now. People keep thinking she's saying make my escape, which is the funniest thing in the world. We'll be proving that today. We, we, that's what we're gonna do today. Hello, you. I'm gonna kill you. I'm gonna make you electric. Yeah. Yeah, even the hilly trails again. I think they level up dependent on you, though, don't they? Teamwork is dreamwork. I could be wrong in saying that, though. I think I think it is like a, a dead island situation where like the enemies get like they level up as you're leveling up. Um, I never really had a problem with like again there are enemy like areas where the enemies are already really easy, but I I never really had a problem with um, enemies getting like or leveling up with you, um, because I feel like it just makes sense because then like nothing's gonna be a challenge and these commissions would not be a challenge even not that they're like the crazy challenge they're fun see that that's called the make my escape overload as well nice little swirl for you there so that's a good combo actually that's a really good combo Okay, cool. And you can do this to check if there's any items still waiting around the place. Apparently not. Apparently not. Okay, so the next one we're gonna do is over here. People were um, challenging me. They were saying, when's Calvin gonna get the... Um, the teleport waypoint in... Um, <laughs> in Mondstadt? And I'll tell you this guy. The answer is, find out next week. Yeah, that's what you call an overload fusion right there. See, like, these guys were so difficult at the start. Like, because I was like, I didn't, like, when you don't really, like, want to use Jeez, elemental stuff. And I think I was, I was very much, and you guys could tell, I was very much, like, thinking, okay, let's just use our physical stuff to fight these guys. Um, worst, <laughs> worst decision I could make. Because, like, what's so cool about those guys is, like, they do teach you kind of about, like, uh, physical and elemental reactions. Um, Adventure time. And I prefer it that way. Like, now. Um, I've always been very much a physical creator, though. Like, if that makes sense. I've always been very much a physical guy when it comes to games. Um, I've talked about it a million times, you know. I actually just recently played Dark Souls 2 again. Uh, just for a bit. I, I fought, like, the first four bosses again. And what's so cool about Dark Souls for me is that, like, you know, I was never a person who really used magic builds. I loved using physical builds. Like, I, 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 like the idea of having buffs, you know, on my character never really, like, sat right with me too much. Because I love just the idea of, like, going in and hitting someone with a club. Uh, which you, I guess, like, I guess you guys can kind of predict now that I was into that. <laughs> I think now it's like, okay, yeah, we can totally see that coming. Um... Everybody stand back. Maybe uh quick. Superconductors, oh look at that. Now we're just gonna Oh god, Razor. And he's he's wet now as well, so electro charge. Yeah, so it is kinda of funny that people could probably like see the, the the main line there. Uh but like honestly I feel like this is so different. Um then Where must we going now? Here. I feel like this is so different than what, like, you know, we're, we were doing in Dark Souls and in, in Bloodborne. 
Um, not that I don't like the idea of buffs. I remember I watched Epic Name Bros playthroughs for the first time, and I saw him using buffs, and I was like, man, I gotta start using buffs. And, like, they do help. Like, Jesus Christ, guys. Oh, my God. Like, Crystal Magic Weapon on, on a sword, like, does, like, it actually makes a difference with some bosses. Um, but at the same time, I'm also, like, at a state. Maybe it's probably this one. I don't know why we went to that one. Um, I'm also, like this type of person who just like loves to go in with physical damage and beat the head off something you know i love that yeah i keep thinking that's the run button nah the ipad controls are actually very funny i played the round with them for a bit it'd be, it might be yeah. funny to do an ipad episode but i think you guys probably just get like frustrated you'd be like what the hell Calvin? please oh it's swing your dinger style <laughs> Meet my ski. We're gonna check that out right now, by the way, as soon as we're done with this. You're gonna see, guys. And it's not, like, I don't mean to be like, you know, hey, this is definitely it. You know what I mean? It stopped it, I'd say. You know what I mean? You guys can, if you guys, like, have that Mandela effect where you think it's make my escape, that's fine. You know what I mean? I'm not here to judge. Let's do a, a wander situation. Just look at this. Terra smash. Did that knock him down? It did. Yep. Uh, okay. In fact, I think we've done all our commissions. So we're going to do that right now. We're going to do that right now. I hope you guys are ready. I hope you guys are ready. Uh, first of all, let's go into here. Maybe this wasn't the right place to go. Let's go into here. And let's claim the login and this. Then let's claim, then let's see what else we can claim. Cool. Let's claim these. Uh, we also have these to claim as well. <laughs> there we go. I've been doing this for a bit, and I think people have been saying I haven't been doing this stuff, which is weird, but, you know, I don't know. Like, I, 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 maybe, did I not, do, I'm pretty sure I did it in the video. Maybe I didn't. I don't know. I, I'm pretty sure, maybe, who knows. You know what? I'll take you guys' word for it. Okay, let's go into profile. Let's get to Sayu. Where is it now? Okay. Here we go. You ready? You ready? Where is it? Is it here? No, these are just voice lines. Okay, where is it now? I'm just gonna sprint start. Here it is, right? Listen to this. Meet my ski. 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 See? Meet my And like I understand you guys have your way of living. Oh what the hell? What? A gigantic version of Joel? Why would we say that? Is he Joel? Oh, you're here, Traveler. Allow me to introduce Joseph. He's... What? Dad, that, that is a Traveler. telling you about the Traveler helped me on loads in the past, and this time we even built a snowman to get her. Joel has told me everything about you. I can't thank you enough. I'm glad you're finally re you're united. Wow, this is amazing. Not bad, Pallad. Not bad at all. You did great work this time. This time, did something happen last time? You remember the person I said I found the last time on Dragon Spine, right? After you accompanied me up to the mountain and helped me to defeat those monsters, I continued searching the area. During my search, I accidentally tipped and rolled my way down the mountain. You rolled? Thankfully, the snow was very thick uh, below. I wasn't hurt. And I was just getting ready to get head back when I heard noises at the side. Then someone just popped out of nowhere. I didn't realize this is the person I was looking for at first. In fact, I mistook him for a fellow adventurer in, a, in the search party. But after a few words of conversation, it was clear that he was having um, memory problems. He didn't even know his own name. The temperature was freezing. There was no time to deal with all that there uh, there and then. So I convinced him to come back to the camp with me and figure everything else out uh, before we got there. We got back to the camp and ran to Joel. And the moment I saw him, he froze for a second and uh, with this completely stunned expression on his face. And then he started crying out, Dad, Dad. That's when Joseph um, uh, suddenly started to remember. Daddy? Daddy's right here, Joel. Daddy's right here. My name's Joseph, not Joseph. Joseph, don't you remember anything else at all? 
the boar princess feeding the foxes? I'm sorry, I have no recollection. Maybe it's because of the head trauma? I'm not so sure. We need to get you checked out then, dude. Like, you need to get, like, actual help. You could die. I woke up and found myself covered in blood. My things were gone, and there was nothing to indicate who I was or how I got there. I crawled- oh, we stole all his books. <laughs> I crawled to a cave and settled in for a slow recovery. After my legs and feet were a little better, I- my hunting skills were what kept me alive. Dad, I was so worried about you. I'm alright now, Joel. Don't cry. Daddy's not going anywhere. I'm here to stay. So what's the plan now, Joseph? I just wanted to stay with my family for a while longer. It's wonderful that you're able to return safe and sound. I suppose there's a happy ending. Haha. <laughs> that said, Pallet, you still got some way to go for your vengeance because they're up to scratch. I mean, losing your footing and rolling down the mountain like that? I do it every day. You're having some remedial classes to me once we get back to the guild, I say. Oh, but Cyrus, I think I kind of made up for my mistakes this time, you know? No buts. Back to the guild we go. Guildmaster, please. No, you have to learn. Wait, so that was the mission? Okay, cool. I'm glad everyone's safe and sound. Uh, okay, so we also have what's in it? What's in here that they're they're they're? Oh yeah, commissions, claim rewards. Oh, we have to cl claim our daily commissions. I forgot about. Yeah, of course. Uh, and then there's like guide. It says, by the way, like there's a lot, I know I know one of the big things is not a big thing because no one actually like says anything about this, really. Like, there's a few people say about it, but, like, you know, I, I acknowledge comments. I'd like to acknowledge comments. Uh, people will say, hey, just look at the red markers on your on your menu. And it's like, dude, they don't bother me at all. See that? See all those red things up there? Mm, I don't care. <laughs> Ain't that right, for two smelly movies? Like, uh, like, like, I understand, like, it, it's, it's like, Calvin, please. Like, I don't mind at all. You know what I mean? It's weird. Like, it doesn't bother me. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> like all this stuff, it does not bother me. <laughs> like, it, it literally, like, I can't, maybe it's because, like, I always take games as, like, like, I love video games, but also at the same time, like, I, I do this thing where, like, I take them seriously in terms of the story and art, but I don't take them seriously outside of, like, the, the game itself, you know? It's like, I'm playing a game. And that doesn't bother me. And if it bothers you, I, I apologize because I can understand how annoying it can be. It doesn't bother me at all. Ad Astra Abyssosk. Welcome to the Adventurous Guild. I want to claim my daily mission rewards. Commission rewards, thank you. Thank you. That's all I needed because now we're going to do a few pulls. So, we have a lot of pulls to do. And we're going to do... This first, just to get 10 pulls to see what we can get. Um, oh, a character already? Okay. There's a character in this list. Harbinger of Dawn. Thank God we got Gammon. Magic Guide. Black Good. I wanted the Black Tassel. Yeah, Magic Guide. Wanted that. Yeah, we wanted that. We needed that. Wanted that. Oh, thank God. Thank God. That's exactly what I wanted. On any other day, this would be a fantastic deal, right? On any other day. Uh, we're going to do another 10 wishes. On any other day, that would be a fantastic gift, right? That would be like, oh my God, so there's another character in this again. Who do we get? Here's the academia's oh, a wind award. character, Fruzon. Faruzon. Faruzon. League Lifetime Achievement Award, and there's something from the Synopsium on Ruin Mechanisms. What do you think? Got any interest in becoming my student? Kind of. Cool design. <laughs> oh, Layla, an Hi, ice character. I'm Layla, a Ritawa student. Oh my God, she's sleepy. Mm -hmm. oh, sorry, I didn't sleep well last night. Yeah. So I'm a bit out of it today. Great design oh, again. What did you say again? You, you want to team up with me? No, no, no. It's not that I don't want to. I'm just not sure my crazy sleep schedule will really Girl, work. Girl, we'll work around it. But, uh, I guess I look forward to working with you. She's awesome. Great, great character as well. So we got two out of that. Okay. Harbinger Dawn. Okay. This is what we're looking for. Sky Rider Sword. Blood. Cool. We still have never gotten a, f a five star. Four star characters are great. Um, 
Let's check on this character right now. We're not going to check all their moves right away. Uh, researcher from 100 years ago, she enjoys herself identifying as in, uh, as everyone's senior and has a significant knowledge of ancient scripts and machines of all kind. Um, so she affiliation is Harvitat. Her, her vision is uh, Animo. Yeah. Okay, cool. We're not going to check the talents out right away. I feel like, you know, that just breaks the flow of everything we're doing right now. I want to read the descriptions, though. Very cool character design. A uh, Ritash. Oh, just like a little... Ch oh, my God. A little, um, what do they call those things that they put over the baby? Um, a student who specializes in theoretical astrology. Heavily prone to somnolism and locked in a grinding war with sleep de deprivation. The problem of restful slumber is most troubling to, to want to her. Cool. Okay, we got some good stuff. We got some really good stuff. Uh, let's wish 10 again. Okay. Oh my god. Wait, is that a 5 star? That's a 5 star something. That's a 5 star. That has to be a 5 star something, right? Thank god we got... Yeah, I wanted this character for a while. Okay. Wait, is this a... Nice to meet you. Oh-ho! <laughs> I've been watching you for a long time already. Awesome. Okay. My name's Nahida. You might look like a child, but don't be fooled. I understand this world much better than any grown-up. You're still a baby. So, can we trade knowledge? I want to hear all about your travel stories. So, what would you like to know in return? There we go. There we go. We got her. We got her. Uh, so this is a character that people said like is actually really, really good and like breaks the game open pretty much. Like she's fantastic. Um, very cool. That we got our first ever five star. Um, and I think it was bound to happen like with the amount of wishes that we got. Nadia looks uh, like really cool. We haven't used a character with this type of uh, wish before or this type of vision. Thank God we got Noelle. I was worried for a bit. That's awesome. We got one. We got one. Um, very, very exciting, right? Very, very exciting. Um, now I'm looking at all these weapons. I'm like, okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's check out Nadia's description though. A caged bird secluded within the confines of its sanctuary uh, of the Sarasana, who can only see the world in her dreams. Oh, look at that. She has like little paper men, but they're like magic. What are her talents, though? So she has like the normal attack. Uh, charge attack consumes a certain amount of stamina to deal AoE dendro damage. The opponent's in front of her after a short casting time. Okay. So this is a dendro character. Uh, hold and uh, enters aim aiming mode, which allows you to select a number of opponents within a limited uh, area. During this time, Na Nadia's resistance to interruption will be increased. When the release, this skill deals dendro damage to these opponents, so she can choose like it's almost like um, what's that move? Uh, oh, what's the GRPG where you can do you can do the RPG where you can do that? We select like multiple characters on the screen and then you attack them like that. Um, seed of Sk uh, Skanda opponents who have been marked with the seed of Skanda will be linked to another one up until a certain distance. After you trigger an elemental reaction on an opponent who are Or when they take da damage from Dendro cores, Nadia will unleash tri camera purification on the opponents, and all connected opponents will get. The, you'll damage all affected opponents. Low the grass, the god of grass and tree shine your ultimate truth in the void, illuminating the origin and destruction of these karmas. Very cool. Very cool. Illusionary heart. Uh, when the shrine of Maya's field is unleashed, the following effects will be separated. So manifest the court of dreams and expand the shrine of Maya. Um, pyro, while Nadia remains in the, within the shrine of Maya, the damage dealt by tri camera purification. How? What is this? You guys will have to explain this to me because I already am confused. Electro, while Nadia remains within the shrine of Maya. The interval between each tri camera purification, all schemes to know is it, okay. You guys, I, I do not understand that, guys. I do not understand that at all. Um, at all. Uh, okay, cool. So she has a catalyst weapon. So we have a new character. We got our first five star. I thought that would be like an achievement. What we might do is, sorry, uh, what we might do is here, and I think it might be a smart thing to do. Um, we could, it's, since you're getting the same characters anyway, we'll do one more wish and then we'll save it because there's six days left and we might save the other wishes for another five-star character if they come out, you know what I mean? Um, but I, I think we save it now. I think we got an idea. I think we save these gems, these gems that I love for next week because it will be next week when we do this, right? 
like the next time, like it, it will have, like we'll have three episodes, and the next week that we record, we will get a bunch more characters. And I think we did had a successful day. We got a five star character. We got two other characters. I think I think it makes sense to save them. I think it makes perfect sense to save them. Um, okay, and also, what makes sense is that we will look at our party here. Our party said we might create a new party here. I love Wander as a character, but we're gonna create a party without Wander and. I feel like I owe it almost to you guys to try out Na Nadia. Uh, so we go to Baby Gangsters and we'll play create party four. So we have a first ever character with Dendro, by the way. We've never had a character with Dendro. She has a swing. There's still so many places for us to explore. Um, we're going to put Bennett in. Hold you back. Uh, we're going to put Razor in. I'll watch your back. Because these, these two are our guys. These two are our guys. And then I feel like then... Um, I wonder if there's any other characters that, like, we, we could use, because Sayu is very good still. I like Sayu. Uh, I wonder if we could use, like... I wonder if, like... Hold on a second here. Um... It's our only Dendro character, so I definitely do want to use them. Um... Garmin, I didn't have a lot of fun while using them, but apparently it, like, ups your pyro damage if you do use him. Uh, so we might try him in the team for now. Start my warm -up routine. And we'll see exactly how we can go with this and how it, like... I'm sure you guys will have, um... Your own feelings about this. This is the first time we ever not had Wander in a party. Okay, let's try out... Oh my god, she's tiny. <laughs> she's tiny! What the hell? Okay, I'll okay, get far away from this place. Okay, so our normal R2 is this. So that is the... Um, hold on a second here. Let's check this out. So normal R R2 for Nadia. Wrong thing here. Where is it? Talent. Normal R2 is performs... Okay, uh, normal R2. The ch where, is it? where is it? Normal attack. Is it this one? Wait, which one is it? Yeah, so that's the one we have to look at. Okay, hold on a second here. So hold and enters aiming mode. So that's the aim one. Okay, cool. Okay. And then the one with illusory heart is the big one. And then you also have this. <laughs> she plays hopscotch? Are you joking? Okay, let's try this out. Let's try find some helitros and try this out. Timmy. Timmy, she she found the camera. That's a star right there. She I didn't even move her towards the camera. She found the camera. That's a star. So our first ever five star. Um, and we have Bennett, which people say is like a five star character. So we have that going for us. Um, honestly, like we, I, I don't play well with Gamin, so we'll just see how we how he is on the team on this little separate team for a bit. Um, I also like do, sometimes don't like taking one. Like I'm already feeling bad that Wander's off the team, so we might just place Gamma with Wander. Um, we'll see, right, Lynn? Right. Attribute do do cook with me, cook with me. Um. Oh, okay. Another question that people get I get all the time is like, why don't you heal with the, like you're you wasting resources? I think people forget that this isn't like a survival horror game. They give you so many resources in this game, like it's, it's endless amount of resources that I don't even know I have sometimes. You know what I mean? Uh, hold on a second. Um, so I wouldn't worry about it. And we do heal with the characters, so I, I guess, like, you know, yeah, yeah, again. And someone did point out something very um, true. Video video skimmers, There's if they do skim the video, they won't even see me um, talking about that stuff. Tyler, fancy meeting you. I'm sure you're very busy, as always. But I just need a moment of your time. Could you give this to Dr. Livingstone for me? I was planning to deliver it myself, but something else came up. I'll handle it. Luckily, I have you to help. I'm very grateful. Yeah, Mondstadt are great people. They have this really amazing culture um, where they're all very free, and they're free to, like, make sure you do all their jobs for them, you know? Uh, they, do, they, they don't, like... How do I say? They don't do anything for themselves. They're very... Uh, they're like babies, so we have to just baby them a bit. Calvin, you've played other JRPGs. You've played RPGs where characters ask you to do everything. 100%. 
Uh, but I think the difference is that every single character at least once in this game has asked me to do like the most menial tasks that they could do themselves. <laughs> every single character in this game is good. And I'm not complaining. I get free stuff for doing really easy tasks. Keep doing that. And I like Dr. Livingstone quite a bit. The one of the first NPCs we really talked to. One of my delivery hasn't arrived. Traveler, how can I help? Here's your thing. I never expected you to be the one delivering this. This is a huge help. Please take these. Thank you, Dr. Livingstone. What did you give me? She gave me a five-star character. Mr. Livingstone. He's a great five-star character. Okay. So, what's this over here now? We have another thing to claim. Make a total of 50 wishes. We did it, guys. We did it. We did it. We, did, we got the 50 wishes. Um... There's other characters we got as well. Um, so we should try them out also. Let the magic begin! What the hell is this? Someone tell me... This is a permanent... There's also trials we can do as well, yes. Um, might be smart to do the Nadia trial. Nadia trial. I hope I get this character. And do the... I think it'd be smart to do all these guys' trials as well. Uh, also, I want to set up a different party as well. Because I want to try out the... Even if the characters aren't good, I think it's a good idea to, like... Try another party as well. Boys in the Town is literally just the first party again. <laughs> so, we'll, we'll change Boys in the Town. Uh, so, let's see. Bennett, I want to change for the new character. We got a new wind character. For the reason. We also got... Um, you know what, we'll put Bennett on the team as well, because Bennett's, like, very good. And then who was, what was the other new character we got as well? This ice character? Very cool. Very cool. Layla. So I want to try out these characters too, but we're also going to do those trials. Uh, because I feel like that just makes sense at this point. Um, so let's start with you. So what's your normal R2? Okay, what does that do? Let's check the talents. I guess let's check the talents. Um, so, deploys a polyhedron that deals AoE animal damage. Okay, cool. To nearby opponents. She will also enter the manifest gale state. While in the manifest gale state, Farazan's next charge, a fully charged shot will consume this state and will become a hurricane arrow. This contains high pressure currents. This arrow deals animal damage, animal damage, based on the damage of a full charged aim shot. Normal attack, Parthian shot. Pressurized collapse hurricane arrow will uh, apply a pressurized collapse effect that the, to the opponent or character hit. This will effect will be removed after a short delay, creating a vortex that deals AOE enemy damage uh, and pulls nearby objects uh, and opponents in. If the hurricane arrow does not hit any opponents or character, it will create a pressurized collapse effect as its point of impact. The vortex damage is considered elemental damage. Okay, and this one she does as well as the is like again she's like a, a, like, a like a dice. Deploys a dazzling polyhedron that unleashes a whirlwind pause of deals AA. Okay, so it's AOE and EVO damage. Okay. And what about you? Your normal R2 attack puts a shield known as the Curtain of Slumber dealing AOE cryo damage. Okay. Okay. Uh, cryo damage AOE. Okay, we can figure this stuff out. Like, again, I much prefer to figure it out than just by doing it. You know what I mean? Because, again, it's not like we're going to die. Uh, so this does, like, AOE damage. Her normal attack is a bow. Oh, we have a, oh, a bow user. Huh. Huh. Maybe. Maybe. And then Layla's moves. Oh my god, she falls asleep in the freaking move. Is that is that right? She's also a sword user, which we love. You know what I mean? Oh my god, and she hits the thing there. Let's, let's take, a, take a look at this for a second. So, can we do that in the middle of a fight? Would that be beneficial, though? Or would that just be, like, really silly? Oh my god, look what it does. Yeah, it, does, it just attacks. As it's going around the circle. Okay, and then holding it. Wait. Oh, I thought we could, like... It would have been really cool if you could walk across this area with this. Would have been... It would have been really cool. My guiding stars. Yeah, it's not exactly as directed as the other moves are. Okay, so let's try out the test run. Let's try out um, Nadia. 
Because, again, it's probably the best way to learn with their character since... Okay, Nadia's elemental skill can deal dendro damage and mark opponents hit with the seed of Skanda, linking them to another. When held, the skill can be released after aiming, after you trigger elemental reaction on opponents who are thusly linked together. Nadia will deal dendro damage to the opponent and all connected opponents. Nadia's elemental burst will unleash the Shrine of Maya field, providing Na Nadia with specific buffs based on the number of pyro, electro, and hydro characters within the party, respectively. Additional elemental orbs will drop during the trial event, and challenge to facilitate the testing of the... Okay, can I, can we get her some shoes, though? Can we get her some shoes? So this is it. I see everything. Oh my god. <laughs> That's actually really cool. Okay. Really cool. Really, really cool. And we also have, like... I, I was never good with Barbara. But we'll use this anyway. So this is this is that, and this is her special move. Oh my god! And then just a basic one just does that. Sorry if I'm just like trying to figure stuff out now, but that is insane. Um, this might be like. One of the most insane characters ever. I'm probably not even using them to the full potential. Let's spark things up a little. Oh, sorry. That was interesting. I'm probably not even using it exactly right. Right? I'm probably not even using it right, but that was overpowered as hell. That was really good. I'm sure, like, just people are like, hey, you could use it this way, you could use it that way. I'm sure there's people going to be like, come, never try to watch. Come, never try to watch. I would definitely want to try out uh, Gaomin. Because it's freaking cool hair. Gammon will pounce forward. Okay, so this, I, I don't think I fully understood this the first time. Gammon will pounce forward when using his elemental skill. Upon hitting a target, he will leap high into the air. Plunging attacks performed in the state will be converted to plunging attack. Charmed Cloud Strike. Okay, clown, uh, cl Charmed Cloud Strider. Dealing AoE pyro damage. His elemental burst will summon the Sawny Man. Oh god, Sawny Man isn't really, can't hurt you. Uh, Chai to smash his target, dealing AoE pyro damage and healing Gamin. When Man Chai finishes its attack, it will move to Gamin's position. When they meet up, the CD on Gamin's elemental skill will be reset. During this time, if Gamin's HP is higher than 50%, when he performs a plunging attack, Charmed Cloud Struggle will summon Man Chai again. Additional elemental auras will drop uh, during this trial event to facilitate. Okay, let's try this out. We'll see how we can do. We might be terrible. Okay, so. Am I, I? I still don't get it. It's very weird for me. Hold on a second. Oh, we, can we read? Can we read their profiles? Because I, I still don't get it. Plunging attack. Can, okay, so we have to do a plunging attack while we do it. Okay, that's my bad. Yeah, actually, we we figured that out before, didn't we? Yeah, yeah, that's my bad. Yeah, that that's what we have to do. And this is Layla as well, giving us a little bit of a Stars, shine for me. freaking ice damage as well. What's your move? And we have Ben as well. Teamwork is dreamwork. Up to it, yeah, he's pretty sick. Like that's that's pretty that's sick, right? That that's a sick move. Look at that, look at that, look at that. Wait, did you come over here? I, guys, I wouldn't have. If I was you guys, I wouldn't even thought about coming over here. You know what I mean? Like, I would have stayed in my own lane. Teamwork is dreamwork. Stars, 
I'm just using all the special abilities now. Okay, I get it. I kind of get it. I kind of get it. Do you guys kind of get it? I kind of get it. Um, what are we looking for? We're looking to claim those rewards. Okay, so then we know. I think I think Gom is someone that we definitely want to use going forward. Then I, I'm okay. I'm okay with using him. We should probably do this one as well, just so we can get a handle on what her moves are as well. Which I have no problem doing as well, because we have her as a character, so using her might be a good idea. So yeah, we'll enter the Manifest Gale state after unleashing her elemental skill. While in this state, her next fully charged shot will become a Hurricane Arrow. Which creates a pressurized collapse effect to target to target hit. The effect will burst one after a short delay before dealing AoE animal damage. But in pulling in nearby objects and opponents in, Farazan's elemental burst deploys a dazzling polyhedron that deals AoE animal damage. I don't get it. The polyhedron will continuously move along the triangular path, thank you, and once it reaches each corner of that triangular path, it will unleash Whirlwind Pulse that decreases the opponent's anime uh, resistance and grants all nearby party members with anime uh, damage bonuses. Elemental orbs will drop during the trial event to facilitate the testing of the trial character's elemental burst. Okay, so we have this character. Um, okay, so... So, okay... So the next one is like an arrow? Is that what that was just saying? Again, I don't I don't fully understand it. This is a cool move. Who is this? Who is this? Can I can you guys tell me how to get this character? This holy hell, who is this character? As a dutiful made wood. Like, I, I, I genuinely want that character. Oh, wrong move, wrong move. Like, can, can someone please tell me how to get that character? <laughs> that is the coolest character in the world. I think, okay, she's actually awesome. She actually has some good moves. Shangling's awesome. I would love to get Shangling. She'd be on a team right away. She would be on a team right away. If she was on our if she was in our uh party. For sure. For sure. Okay, so one thing that people have been saying is we is like go to the event tab. Apparently maybe it's too late. I think I already went into the event tab itself. Um and it sends you over here. Special event. Go to event. But I don't know, you guys, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to ask in my, um, I'm gonna ask a few people around, a few people I trust about it, you know, you know, is this, you know, cause I, I like, oh, I should talk about the Lantern Rite Festival because I feel like enough people have talked about it. I'm, again, there's like this whole thing where like people are like, you don't have to rush, it's not rushing, just do the main quest. I'm not even in, I can't even do the main quest yet, I need one more, um, AR. I can't even do the Archon quest right now. I can't even, like, go, you know, I could go to the U Harbor, but I feel like it goes against, like, the reason I would want to... So I'm looking for uh, our girl. Can we get her a pair of shoes? That's all I'm asking. Look, Sayu is also a baby, but she has shoes. Kind of. Um, we'll level up, though, so we auto-add. Level 20. Can we ascend her? We can. And I'm getting smarter. Auto add level up again. Wait a second. Hold on a second. Level up. Let's use all of these first of all. Yeah, I'm I'm to like again, th this isn't me just trying to be like, oh, I'm disregarding people's opinions like like for me like we're just playing at this like really like fun like little, little pace I, i'm not trying to be like i don't want to like do this thing because it, it's it's something i'm choosing like i don't know why, why anyone would ever think that i don't think you do think that um i'm not gonna stop playing this game i just want people to know that right now we're not gonna stop playing this game like it's it's not happening <laughs> it's not happening uh, energy recharge. Let's just go for like a few nice ones. 
Um, why not? Um, like, I'm not stopping playing all of a sudden. Like, that's not going to happen. Um, and I hope you guys realize that, like, there's no, there's no plans to stop playing. Like, this playthrough isn't going anywhere. If it is like that, we have to wait till next year to get, like, uh, something out of it at uh, the next Lantern Rite Festival. That's fine. I'm still fairly new to the game. I'm still fairly, like, in, a, in, a, in the process of playing this game. And before anyone, because like I sometimes see people will comment, um, all I said was this, or I only said this. N There's so many comments of people talking about the Lantern Rhyme Festival. It's not directed at anybody. There's no hate or malice in this. It's literally just like having a conversation with you guys, because I feel like that's better than ignoring your guys' uh, takes on everything. You know what I mean? I feel like that's a million times better than just, you know, I think it'd be worse if I, like, just kept doing the videos as if, like, you guys didn't say anything about the, the Lantern Right Festival. So what's in here again that they want me to do? They want me to do this one. You guys tell me about this one. Let the magic begin! Lynette. Let it's permanent, though, so begin. you guys can, you, you guys tell me about the permanent Lynette one. I'd like to know about it. Um, because, again, I don't know if, like, this is something I should do right now or I should wait. Um, our party setups as well. Oh, we should definitely... I know I'm doing a lot of menu surfing here, guys. I'm not... Like, again, I'm just being very silly. Uh, boys in the town. Party 4. Party 4. But I think, actually... Gaman. Is there time to sneak in some dim sum first? His, his voice acting is so good. His voice acting is so good. Uh, and then we're going to level up Gaman as well. Because I actually like his character now. I actually, I actually get it more now. You know what I mean? Uh, ascend? Can we send? We can ascend. ascend above the ashes. Auto add. Yeah, let's just go. Let's just go. Let's just go. We're gonna do some uh, ley lines as well to like max these guys out as well again. Um, Cav, I told you you'd run out. Gets, give us, give us some artifacts. Um, people like defense is useless. Okay. <laughs> um, attack could be good, though. I don't even know what I'm doing sometimes. Four star? There, you take that. Okay. Um, do you want this one? Good man. Um, okay, so then I think our main characters that we will be using throughout this whole thing... Actually, though, I kind of like... This character was fun. This character is super fun. But right now we have a party setup that I actually kind of like. I know I keep menu surfing guys and it's going to be like kind of annoying for a bit. I'm just, Again, I'm just trying to like figure some stuff out. Uh, okay. So this is the baby gangsters. They're not going away. Great team. Like I think we all agree it's a great team. This team can change. Like this team is not very good. Like Dory people have told me is not very good. I think what we can do with this team is... Like, mix it up a little bit. Like, we have a lot of, like, very, very... Bennett's, Bennett and Razor, I think, are going to be on every team. Right? I'll scout ahead. I think it just makes sense. And then we can maybe switch Barbara with uh, having... Yeah, we we'll have this character on every team as well, maybe. I, I keep going out of... That's my bad. I keep going out of the, the party menu. Party setup menu. Um, then, this team here. Right now, putting her in here doesn't make any sense. But... Boys on the town needs to be changed as well. It doesn't. It doesn't make any sense. Um, Gamin and Razor. Yeah, that's that's the boys on the town. Uh, then we have that. This is a good party. I feel like this is a good party. This party down here is also good. I, I'm I'm good with this party too. I think we have a a good mix of parties here. For now, I think we're gonna use party four, just so we can get used to Gamin and not and Nadia. I think that's probably the best thing we can do. And then we can go find some ley lines uh, over here. Is this a ley line? No, that's not a ley line. That's a boss. That's a boss. I tell you it's a boss. Wait a second. Let's try and defeat this boss. We haven't... Let's try again. Let's go. Now that we have double fire. Someone get not Nadia some shoes, though. It's... 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 It's like... Like... Uh, uh, do you ever have that in a video game? With me in a video game, like, I genuinely, like... When someone is, like, walking around in cold weather in, like, just a t-shirt, I'm like, man, please. 
It's not as bad here because we're in snowy, like in a kind of a sunny, sunnier weather. Oh, it's right there. Look at the, the boss is right there. We're probably going to die to this boss again. Okay. That was kind of cool. Level 41. I thought you were like level 36 last time we talked, buddy. I see everything. What happened? What happened? The last time we talked, you were like level 36. Now he's burning. insane. Look at that. This is one of those times where feeding them food is actually just the best idea. Uh, because he's gonna trash us. And by the way, not gonna feel bad at anyone telling me the best way to like. I love the hopscotch, man. I love it. I see everything. But now we're level 41 anyway, so we can get the... Yeah, it's, it should be way easier than before. Take yourself to home. Off we go. Let's move. What is... Yeah. Buddy, I think you need to stop using your headbutt. Might be good for everyone. Did we run out of chickens? We have to cook some more. Adventure time. <laughs> Teamwork is dream work. And then we can have uh Ashley. Everyone hold hands. He'll nod you a bit up. Ha. Yeah, th this is a boss. If you remember we fought this boss the first time he came into this game. And we were like so like we got destroyed by it obviously. Hold on a second. Why all of a sudden is he dying? Like what it was a frost damage? Off we go. Uh. The Temple of Wisdom. I uh, I don't know what Temple of Wisdom is, but we'll use it. You, I'm sure you guys would be like, "Hey, Calvin, this is what you have to do with, with Temple of Wisdom." And and stop it, please. Thank you. Oh, we're so close! Come on, we're so close. Bennett style. We got it. Okay, so this is this is an enemy that like destroyed us at the start. If you remember, like actually absolutely destroyed us. And now here we are again. <laughs> yeah, let's go. What do we get? Some good stuff. Some really good stuff. Nice. That's like that weirdly takes so much off my mind. You know what I mean? I know that's a weird thing to say, but it like weirdly takes so much off my mind. Like, you know, you know when you have something that was on my head, that was in my head for the longest time when I was playing this game. And now here I am again, playing this game. And it's out of my head now. That one creature that was always on the map that like we get destroyed by at the start. Hold on a second. Uh, actually. Is this here? Yeah. Where's the... Um, about Dendro. Is Dendro here?
Is... Usually they have the, the idea of like... So we can just know... He's, okay, so here we go. Burning. When Pyro meets Dendro, Trigg is burning. Okay, so P Pyro and Dendro was actually very good together. Very well. Okay, good. I just wanted to, I just wanted to make sure. Oh, wrong button. Why did I... Again, I think it's because like I'm playing three different games at once. You know what I mean? Right now, I started playing Pokemon Violet. I'm also playing... I'm just about to finish Persona 3 Reload in my spare time. And... Which, by the way, I know like a, a few people were like, oh, I wanted to, I wanted to see the Persona 3 Reload, play, Reload playthrough. I think the issue with the, the Persona 3 Reload playthrough is that, like, it would be the most pure walkthrough ever on this channel. And it would not be a big thing where I'm like, oh my god, look at this. Like, no, there was times where I was like, oh my god. But that's just because I love the game, original game, so much. But they were kind of few and far between because while I was like, oh, this game is beautiful, this game is gorgeous, all this stuff. It's a game that I know the story of back to front. I know the story of Persona 3, like, like off by heart. To the point that, like, you know, whenever I was playing Persona, Persona 3 Reload, it was just constantly just like, okay, I know this part coming up. I know this part coming up. I can't wait to see this part. But it wasn't like, oh, I wonder what's going to happen in this part. Um... Like, when you play through a game ten times, you tend to, like, start to, like, notice all this different stuff about it, you know? You tend to get kind of good at understanding stuff like that. Okay, let's get this Leyline as well. Okay. Well, if it isn't my pals. <laughs> let's light it up! I see everything. Up to it, Monzai. So this this is what triggers burning. Oh, and she like they're connected. Look at that. That is so cool. Wait, did they did they both get this, the same moves? Hold on a second. No pain, no gain. I still don't understand this move. I read it, but like, I like it. I, I, is it because like, is it elements that are using it that change everything up? Is that what we're looking at here? Where'd you go? Where'd you go? You can freeze. Oh. Okay. Listen, listen here. I get. I get it. I totally get that you're some big shot, but now look what's happening. You got dendroed. You got dendroed. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty happy with it, but that character that we saw in the other area, whatever his name was, I didn't even check his name, I was just really excited to play as the character. We need more of that character for sure. Maybe we should have stayed in the healing thing for a bit. <laughs> Too late now, I suppose. And we'll go on. Then we'll go on back to Liu. Because there's no point avoiding it at all. Because it may take some time, you know. Yeah. Are we fighting? Well, if it isn't... <laughs> Another burning. Oh my god, she's great. And again, I'm not even using her to a full, for full potential, even nearly. That's what's insane about this. You know what I mean? I know we also need a better weapon on our boy. Maybe the blood tainted greatsword might be a better idea on this, on this boy. Again, this is something you know. Again, guys, please explain Nadia's moves said fully to me. You know, you're like, Calvin, you should just look it up or whatever. Like, 100%, I like it's, you could say, say it's me being lazy. I just don't understand what they mean by some of the movesets. I really don't. <laughs> fully admitting, fully admitting that I, I'm, I'm not, I'm very confused. Like, this looks cool. <laughs> this looks very cool. I 
nice little overload fusion there. Teamwork is dream work. Stay in the circle as well for our, for our boy here. And for Gamin. Congratulations! Yeah, we'll look at weapons as well, because like we might change the catalyst for um Nadia as well. And we have to remember as well, we can just use normal moves for Nadia as well. Yeah, we'll take those. Thank you so much. And our adventure rank is going up as well. Man, this is like, look at the fog overcoming here as well. People are saying that like, you know, there's still like so many normal things that like Calvin loves to look at. Um, yeah, like I think this game does like the normal landscapes just really well. Okay, so let's go into profile. Let's look at the weapons now. So you have a catalyst. So she still has, she has this four star thing. I think we should give it to her instead, right? Because that's our only four star weapon. And we have it leveled up to 20. Can we ascend it? We can. We can ascend it above the ashes of a world I once knew. Um, auto add materials to get it to plus one. Select material. Like, why not? You know what I mean? Why not? And this is our only four star weapon, right? So we should be using this. I'm sure you guys will have, uh, you know, your reasoning to not use it. And that's not me being, being being sarcastic. You guys just genuinely know more about this game than I do. Right? I, th I think at this point, anyway. Um, then with, with, with Gamin, the debate club is cool. But I wonder if there's, like... Like, it's very cool. But I wonder if it's, like, too much, like... When this one does, like... Bane of Fire and Thunder. Increased damage your components expect by Pyro or Electro. So this just makes sense for Gamin as well. Um, yeah. We can enhance this. Wait, do we have already an, an already enhanced one? I don't think so. We just have um, another one there. Yeah, so we, we can enhance this. Um, one. One step at a time. In the, oh, yeah. Sorry. Enhance. And then we can, what we can do is we can refine it. Can't we refine it? There it is, refine. No, ref oh, sorry, we have to select the refinement materials. Yeah. And refine it. Yeah, I think that's fine for now. Especially when we're using this team a bit more. We have our achievements as well. Yeah, I think we save our, our pulls for next week again. I think that's probably the best option. Because then what we have is then is a whole new... A whole new 5-star we could go for. If there isn't another 5-star next week, I don't know how that works. I'm assuming it is. She's very fast. Maybe it's just because she's so small. That's probably why she's so fast. But we'll be de definitely like work on um, these characters to level up here. Like I'm not a massive fan of Nadia's design, but like so far her character has been really fun to use. And like I don't even know the full extent of her character either. So <laughs> this could be a whole new thing coming forward, you know? The Dendro stays. Like that's 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 an important thing to note as well, right? The Dendro stays. Stop! Stop! Can you stop? Can you stop, buddy? It's my move. It's my one move. Yeah, I understand. If I don't do this move, I have nothing. Yeah, I know. But I shoot. I shoot it out. Like I shoot. I shoot it out of my head. I shoot. I shoot it out. Okay, cool. But like, I don't. I don't understand why. Like, 
You learn a different move? Uh, probably not. It's, it's my move. Okay, but it's, it's kind of an annoying move, you know? Even to fight against is kind of annoying. Uh, no, it's not. I, no, I, I, I'm, I'm saying it is. I, all I have is shoot the thing out of my head and stun lock you. That's my thing. Okay, look, how about we... we 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 compromise. Yeah, I'll compromise, sure. Um, you never use that move again, and then I kill you. Sounds like a good. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, I I see what you're doing there. See what see what I'm doing there. Hey man, you're trying. To, you want to kill me? No, 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 no. I never said I want. I I see it. No, 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 no. You're overreacting, as they say. You know what I mean? You're overreacting. <laughs> Many happy returns. I, d I don't understand this, but I'm going to keep doing it. <laughs> now look at this. Oh my god, with the... Yeah, because they're already on fire. She mustn't be that great of a character if she gets stun locked. That's a joke, by the way. That's a joke. It's a joke. Let's joke. Oh wait. Okay. We could try then go back here. Cause that's okay, back to the end. And this time we have a whole new host of characters. Because it does auto back to Wonder whenever we're um, having a conversation. And like if, if we want to like expand our character list and use more characters, it will take like using like not using Wander all the time. You know what I mean? And I totally understand that. Cook. Uh let's make more of this chicken. Oh, I forgot you can auto cook, yeah. There you go. Um, what else we auto cook? I think anything more than. Oh yeah. Um, but we don't have materials for it. So yeah, we'll have to like gain more materials. <laughs> That's just it. We'll have to gain more materials. But again, like I said, like the resources are so plentiful in this game. That it's like, okay, we can do this. You know, we can do this. Let's look at our quest again. Big business. Oh, we, we didn't do this one. Oh, we were gonna do this one. I thought we did this one. Okay, let's go do this one. Let's go. So sure we did this one. Are we heading the right way? Yeah, we are. There's one right here. In a chest somewhere. In the sunsetas. Here it is. So he's really into, yeah, into into these invoices. So the next invoice is over this way. Yeah, this is like a like a really somber little quest as well, isn't it? Very somber quest. Man, this is really cool seeing this type of stuff too. I wonder, like, are the Hilly Trails using this, or is this, like, taken over by the Hilly Trails? Because we've seen the Hilly Trails have these a few times, haven't we? You know what I mean? It could be a thing of, like... I don't know, like, again, it could be a thing that they are... They did take this for themselves. Are we gonna make it? We told you, right? Abubakan? Man. Our character died. <laughs> Standing in the water.
Thank you. I, that was totally intentionally put there. Thank you. Okay, Razor. You know what you have to do with these guys, you know? You know what you have to do with these guys. Look at that. Oh, it's, it's down there. I can see the invoice down there, but I want to light this up as well. One of the weirdest, um... I think the weirdest, like, comments I ever get were, are people being like... I remember I did I did the fire torch puzzle, and, and there was a comment being like, Uh, you didn't figure it out at all. That was random. And it's like, man, like, like... That, that's in every community, by the way. And I, I don't know if you see that in the, in the Genji community a lot. Maybe you guys can tell me. But there is, like, a very big thing about, like... Like, ga not gatekeeping, but it's like this thing of, like, territorial feelings of, like... No, 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 you're not good at this. You are you can't be good at this. The majority of people in the comments, I think, are, that's I love so much about my um, audience for Genshin. Is that, like, I kind of scared off in the first, like, few episodes. Like, people who are just here for, like epic epic gameplay you know everything must be perfect at any moment you know what i mean i kind of scared those people off by not being perfect and i i'm very happy about that um she's freaking amazing um i actually am very happy about that you know what i mean i've sc I scared off the people that were looking for elite gameplay they, they stuck around for a bit then in the other play the other parts of the playthrough um and then like kind of left uh, after like part like eight when they were like okay it's it's not what i'm looking for but then what happens is then is that now you like cool. I get like comments of people being like when I do something like that that's that's kind of cool people are like oh my god well done you know and it feels very like supportive it feels very supportive so like whenever I get like one comment of someone being like eh, you didn't you didn't do that well I'm like okay <laughs> that says more about you than it does about me or the audience yeah I love Goblin's design I would I still want that other character though that other wind character. I think basic level stuff. I love Sayu. I love Wander. I love all those characters. We're not forgetting about those characters, by the way, at all. Sayu, I, I adore. She will always be the first character that I got that I was like, oh my god, this is the best character ever. You know what I mean? The character that I really adored having. Um, we're going to switch between parties when necessary. And I know people are going to be like, uh, probably going to say that we'll get you so used to... Um, did I do the wrong thing here? I don't know. We can just climb up this way. No, because we have to buy this stuff off. Th this girl wanted stuff. That's why we didn't do this freaking mission. This girl wanted the stuff. Mm, that's why I didn't do the mission. Because this girl wanted stuff. Girl. Girl, you shouldn't want stuff off me. Can we just kill her? Like, as well, I'll pay for him. Like, you know what I mean? I'd buy him. Everybody stand back. Like, this isn't a situation where, like, I wouldn't buy them. You know what I mean? Find well, anything you like? Maybe we found them along the way. Who knows? Let's check. Let's ask her. Yeah. Hopscotch. <laughs> this is an insane move, by the way. Like, insane. Look at that. That's, like, it's, in, it's in, like, just the fact that, like, it, like it Dendro's, like, that many characters in a row. And then we can just do that. It is insane. And the dendro stays as well. Like you're looking at a cat. Did things get really dark? Is that me? Did I do that? We did that. That's Gamin. That's why he's, he's a gamer. Nice shoes, by the way. Very good character. I love the character's look. Probably my favorite character design in this game is probably Gamin. Um... I'd say so, for sure. Reject reject common designs. Reject guy with stubbly beard. Accept man with red tinted back hair. Girl, I'll give you whatever you want. I'll pay you. Noctilius Jades. Here's two. We need three? Where... I know not till you stage. She said, "Give me the stuff." I just hit the microphone. <laughs> um, I know not to wait. We can sh we probably they probably show us where they are, right? Yeah. 
Can you show me where they are, please? Okay, let's go into items and see where they are, okay? You're gonna regret this. I can kill you next time I see you. I think this is one of those times where it's okay to commit a bit of murder. You know what I mean? Like, I think sometimes it's okay. You know? Look, we got a sausage. Like, I think it's okay. I don't think... Is this... What is this? Materials. Where is, where is the Noctilius Jade? I can't even see it. There it is. Found in caves in Liu. Recommended found in Mingyun Village. Oh, okay. Mingyun Village. Where's that? Bishu Plain. Bishu Plain. What is this? Liu. Mingyun Village. Do we even go to that village? How do we get all these items? You know what? Let's just play naturally. Let's not worry about it. Let's go back to the inn. Let's not worry about it too much. And we'll find what we need to find after this. That girl is literally being a bad person. Let's talk to Catherine. You know what I mean? Say hi to Catherine. How are you doing? We'll say, jump off this. See you later. Look, she's just over there. We'll say hi to Catherine. We'll have a good day. You know, we'll have a good, good day. Julie Plains. That's what they used to call my friend Julie in school. Very rude. You know? Oh, look, it's a dendro. What was this? Look, watch this, watch this. Yeah. I'm, you forgot I'm a flower. I didn't forget. You, you totally forgot. And it's very embarrassing for you. No, no. Like, I know you're like a little flower creature. You sure? Yeah, I'm, I'm very sure. I'm, I'm, I've, 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 I, I could, you, you have a flower growing out of your head. Well, could you pretend? Yeah. I'll pretend next time. Thank you. I was gonna say get dendro, but we don't even need it. I wonder who this gift could be from. Say, make, okay, say make my escape when you go, okay? Because that's your catchphrase. It, her, she says meet my ski. Uh, Sayu says meet my ski. And Nad Nadia says make my escape. That's the cannon. Oh, look, it's a boar. It's a boar. Get dendroed. Get dendroed, boar. Okay. <laughs> I guess I guess the boar isn't getting dendroed. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> We're playing hopscotch and just killing these creatures. Get dendro. Yeah, yeah. Not right. Not right. Actually, I think I think we should be banned. I actually think that this we should. I should end the playthrough. Guys, that was great to have a playthrough like this. But honestly, I don't think I could do this playthrough anymore now that we can just say get dendro to people and they get dendro. Like, look at this, look. Watch, you ready to get dendroed? Get dendroed. Everyone hold hands! Yeah. Everyone hold hands? What a beast! <laughs> She's hilarious! Get freaking dendroed! She's absolutely hilarious! Everybody hold hands, she says. <laughs> no, that's- I'm sorry, but we can't deny. That's not, like, sweet. That's psychotic, and I love it. That's not, that's like, oh, how adorable. Everybody hold hands. No, she's a psychopath. <laughs> that's not a baby gangster, guys. That's a freaking psychopath. Yeah. Oh my god, get Dendro. Who else needs to get Dendro? Hold hands. Look, at even when I got frozen. I don't think- oh god. Look what you've done for me. Oh god, no. Oh god. Oh god. No, no. Stop, 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 Look at that. Now look what happened. Is there one guy left? No, 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 no. Okay. That was a very weak challenge. If we had- if we had- if we had Amber for that, that would have been easy. But get Dendro, guys. It's not even- like- Gen genuinely think that 
There's a statue over there on top there, isn't there? We should go get that, shouldn't we? Yeah. I'm not forgetting that. Yeah, I'm not forgetting that. Calvin, stop going to Leo Harbor! <laughs> Calvin, please! <laughs> There's, so, there's someone literally shaking in their chair. Yeah. <laughs> I beg of you, please. <laughs> I'll go this way. Go to the Leo Harbor's just over there. I wonder what this way is. Hmm. Hey, brother. Yeah? I think we should turn over a new leaf. Why do you say that? I don't know, I've, I've met the, the other characters and they're, 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 you know, Nadia, Bennett, Razor, Garmin, Sayu, you know, Wanda, they're pretty nice. So let's all just, you know, let's fight for peace. I'm way ahead of you, brother. I made them a pie. A pie? Yeah, I'm gonna give it to them next week. <sighs> Finally, this will make peace with the Hillichols and the humans. We can finally be at peace. Life is good now. Mother, do you hear us up in heaven? Hold hands! <laughs> no! Everybody stand back! <laughs> you know what's hilarious now? Our car our team is no longer like these aren't baby gang like there's three baby gangsters on the team, and then Nadia is a psychopath who is making them do psychotic things. And their head cannon wise, they are all very much doubting their existence now. You know? Wander never made them do psychotic things. Nadia is literally like jokering it up. She's the joker of this game. <laughs> Everybody hold hands is still crazy. I, I can't. <laughs> for someone for a character so little to be like, hold hands as she's about to murder you is not right. Really cool locations up here. <laughs> I don't know, like... Ooh. Like, it's not right. It's actually, actually disgusting. <laughs> Everybody hold that. <laughs> <laughs> Two episodes ago. Me and my ski. I'll hit me with a who hit me with a rock. Nya, 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 I'm Razor. Let's go, everybody. That's Wonder. I'm naughty now. Hold hands as I murder you. Many happy returns. Naughty, no, they're dead. Hold hands. She can't hold. They can't hold hands by themselves. Hold hands. Absolute psychotic character. We love her. <laughs> and then runs on the beach. I'll deal with this then there, but Georgie Porgy. Okay. You, Chan. <laughs> okay, everybody hold hands. She said it again. Like, she's she's an actual psycho. Like, I... Like... You get what I'm saying, right? I'm not just saying it like even be funny anymore, guys. <laughs> break that up so they can't drink anymore. Are you sure, Nadia? Yeah, break it up. Make sure they can't drink anymore. Or even bathe. Nadia, that seems a bit overkill. We don't need to fight these guys. We can just go get this way to get some. Fight them. Fight them now. You sure? Fight them all and kill them. Everybody hold hands. Okay, we can only get these three, but that'll do. I'm going in. Insane. Insane. This this game is over. Right? Like, that's like the most OP thing having like this team we've have here is like psychotically OP. Hey, everybody hold hands. Please. Please, Nadia. They got children. I got children too. Not yet. Those teddy bears you have at home don't count. Oh, you talking back to- No, no, I'm not talking- You're not talking back? See, I talked to you talking back. thought we were going to have a problem, so... I guess we don't have a problem. Yeah, no, we don't- we For sure don't have a problem, Nadia. 
Oh, look who it is. The lone warrior. Hopscotch, hopscotch. Nadia, please, no, not the hopscotch, Des. Okay. Oh, cool. This stuff looks dope. Dope? You're so cool, Common. I say dope as well. Oh, is this boss? Cool, let's go. This is a cool location. Really cool. Hold hands. Hold hands. I'm sorry, guys. Okay, I'll stop with the psychotic thing. Because I think, I think some Nadia fans are going to be like, Calvin, she's not like that at all. This one's alive for sure. The other one's maybe not. Let's see. Level 30? Everybody stand back. Jimmy said Dendro. Jesus Christ. Good things come to those who wait. The, the, laugh, the laughing stopped when that death happened. This team is insane. Like, right? Am I right in saying that I like this team here that we have right now? This current team is absolutely destructive, and should not should not even. I think we should like lock them away for centuries. Hey. Hold hands. Hold hands. Like what? Like, to me, it's like. There's no reason to never not start at an encounter like that with, without, without using that, right? Like, there's no reason. Like, because you can sneak up on them, get, a, get an attack in, and then go in and attack them afterwards. This is... This is... Oh, God. Look at them. Look at that. You can do that. Get a, a simple attack in first. Might as well vaporize him as well, you know? Absolutely. I know they're level 30. So we're not fighting enemies that are gi gigantically tough. Useful? But I think we found our team. I think this is like our- I think it's gonna be our main team for a while. You know? I think- I think- I think- I think it's- it's fun to try new characters, and I think this might be our main theme. Everything's coming according to plan. Step one, make Calvin use me as his main player. Step two, make everyone hold hands. Step three, overtake Sayo as the most adorable- No, it's not happening, sorry. Okay. Yeah, sorry, you just crossed the line there. Okay, hold on a second. Wait, why why did he go cross this time when I was trying to get an item off this? Like, usually he goes up, right? That's interesting, right? Maybe I'm the only one who finds that interesting. Um, hold on a second. Party setup. Let's deploy. Yes, yeah, an insane team. Um, we're gonna rename them as well at some point. Let's deploy the baby gangsters for a bit. Look, this team is pure, innocent, and, and like, you know, good-hearted, right? You know what I mean? The other team we have, which we'll, 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 we'll rename them right now. The other team we have are, they're killers. So let's, okay, let's rename this team, I guess. Re-edit. So they're gonna be called <clears throat> Um Nadia's Boys. She's a bad influence on all of them. Oh, we have to deploy them though, because actually I'm having a lot of fun using them. Like it's actually actually insane, right? Let's see now. Okay. 
we'll come back to using you, Sayu. You're still you're still my favorite character in this whole game. Don't worry about that. Or we could add Sayu to the team as well. You know? I could email Hoyoverse and say, hey, can I have five members on the team? And they'd be like, yeah, sure. I actually did like because uh, someone had the idea of like they're like, hey, would you would you ever do a sponsored Hoyoverse video? And the only way I would ever do it, I'm not saying it would ever happen, but the only way I would ever do it is if, um, honestly, it's it. What I would want to do is like top five prettiest locations in Mondstadt. You know what I mean? Like something like that. Like I wouldn't want to do like. Did I am oh wow like I, I I wouldn't accept them giving me money to unlock characters because I feel like then it's like there's always gonna be that doubt in people's mind like did they did they give me the the the, the characters did they make it like so that like um it was a sure thing that I was gonna get these characters um so like I would like to do it in a, a Romer fashion which would be like you know you know top five prettiest places in all of Mondstadt or top five chunkiest you know characters or top five baby gangster characters you know something like that something something that like is like about the game itself I wouldn't accept it was like hey can you just like can you do a sponsored video where it's you just talk about how much you love the game um, from that perspective because I because I like I feel like I enjoy video games the same as everyone but my favorite things about video games imagined. are usually like it's my lucky day. the weirder aspects of them. You know what I mean? The, 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 like I love love landscapes. Like look here, like this here. Look 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 at that. Look at that. That right there makes this game a ten. And I'm I'm saying this now, guys, because I've talked about it with friends as well. How I genuinely believe that this is like one of the greatest games ever made. Um, and I I I mean that that like for me personally, um. If you ask me right now which game would I like to play like this or like Breath of the Wild, I think you would be pretty even at this stage. And I know you're like, oh, Calvin, don't compare it to Breath of the Wild. People always do that. But I'm just saying in terms of like the other open world games, I love this, Breath of the Wild, Shenmue. Um, like, I don't like many open world games. I like overworld games, but I don't play many open world games. And the only open world games I already played in the past while. And like, by the way, overworld games are totally different from open world games. Like, I feel like people always like get that wrong, where they're like, you know, this oh, th you know, this game's open world now, and it's like, nah, it's not open world, man. There's a difference between like, you know, being on a map and being able to choose different locations to go into. An open world is like an open world that's open. These things useful? <laughs> Is a traveler here? Sorry, I was too busy listening to him talk that I didn't hear you come in. Sorry, I was. Okay, uh, I didn't hear anyone talking. You look at I had in the beginning, but somehow now that decades have gone by. And even though my hearing has steadily gotten worse over the years, I finally have started to be able to hear him. It's so wonderful that the legend is true. It means I've not been waiting here all in vain all these years. What legend? If you close your eyes and listen carefully to a conch shell, you will hear the sound of the sea. You know about that, right? Well, I thought to myself my husband never returned from the sea in the end. I wonder if he said any parting words for me. So I moved to the conch lodge and I have been waiting ever since. Waiting for the day, I hear his voice between the crashing waves of the uh, crashing of the waves. It's kind of sweet. I hear, your voice, I hear your voice. That's kind of creepy. But it's a cool house though. It's like in a conch shell. Oh yeah, we're still heading towards this. This is what we wanted to get. This is what we wanted to get. Is there anything closer? There probably is something closer. Yeah, right here. Yeah, we'll go for the closest one. We don't want to just travel the way over here for no reason. We're so close to Liu Harbor as well. We'll get there. We'll get there. We'll get there, guys, okay? We'll get there. Oh, will we? No. Not Nadia. You may... They listen to Nadia. No, no, we're not listening to Nadia.
Bennett's a bit embarrassed because um, last week Nadia told him to get on a skateboard and ride off Death Man, Dead Man's Cliff at full speed. And uh, he bruised his elbow pretty badly. And he's a bit embarrassed, so he's, he's trying to act like it was all part of uh, like some greater plan, that Nadia has a plan. He's, you know, it's a bit embarrassing, so we'll just pretend that he, that he did on... That, that, it was, that it was for something, you know. Oh, yeah, Bennett, like, you know, that bruise is going to, you know, get you to be popular with the girls now. Girls love scars. Right? Girls love scars. He's not even talking. It's kind of it's it's weird, you know. I kind of want to leave him. Oh, look at the platform over here. What's this? Oh, it's gonna be where the chest goes when you finish the trial. Open the chest. What is the chest? Well, hold on a second. Just barely, just barely uh, got it, but. Than I imagined. It's my lucky day. Okay. Man, this is beautiful. Look at this Larry here, and these uh, these are actual natural formations that can happen in like the real world. Like. This is not something that's just like, oh, we created this for the game. Open get us anyway. Oh. Well, we have nothing to shoot at you. Well, we do have an archer now, but we don't have her on our team right now, so. <laughs> Dandy. My favorite comic book series as a kid. Hello, Traveler. Start time trial challenge, sure. You want to put your top speed to test? I told you, Santa. After all, our goal, uh, all our goal is star stars, and the abyss, right? At Astra Abyss, Abyss Disc, let the challenge begin. This time, try to reach the destination within thirty-one seconds. Keep going. You don't want to lose your former self. I do actually want to lose my former self, Dandy. Where do you want me to go? We might restart this trial in the second, because I want to get this first. Sorry. <laughs> It's like we're not we're not gonna like it'd be kinda silly to not get this first. Oh look at them look at the freaking dragon spine from here. So the dragon spine does not exist in the first days of the game? It's not a miracle it is a miracle, buddy, actually it is, it is, it is. I almost like stifled his creativity there. We're so lucky to be able to look at look at this, look at that! We're so lucky to be able to play a game like this. No, 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 no. I don't want to return. Go home. We're getting this first. We're so lucky to play a game like this, guys. There we go. Jesus, look at that. Lua Pool. Yeah, we need to go to Lua Pool. And that area, too. That looks like it's a temple as well. And that looks like it's a temple also. But our next place we'd be going after this is is this place over here. So we can worship the statue as well. We're not close to even getting to the next one. Ben, it looked a bit sad there. Okay. Let's get this chest and then let's also do this little qu time trial again. Because we can do it. I know we can. Ah, even better than I am. Hello, traveler. Oh, yeah. Here we go again. Yep. Okay. I let let the challenge begin. Let's go. 
Let's go. I don't I don't know if I'll be able to do it, but we'll try. I think I can. I think I I, I think I can. I look at those rock formations in the ocean as well. Look at that. It may take some time, you know. Remember that with time you will grow. Oh God. Barely. Close. So close. We can do that. I think we just go forward and knock through it. Yeah? What you think? I'm okay with that. Let's go with that. Let's go with that, yeah. And just not even worry about like yeah, because we can go through this really fast, and then just knock down when we can, when we ha when we have to. You know what I mean? Like through here, like this. That counted. I it, I guess it counted. That's very generous. Okay, we're gonna turn to the starting point anyway, but. Very, very generous. Oh, we got a chest out of it. Nice. Like, that That was extremely generous, wasn't it? I think so, anyway. Like, for a game to, like, let you go all the way back there again. There's another challenge over there, too. I mean, there's no reason not to do this stuff, guys. Like, there's no reason not to do this stuff. Like, we're here to explore. This world is nothing if I don't get to explore it. If I don't get to just look at everything... I think we've been here before, have we? This area down here. No, we haven't because there's one of those Seelies there. People are saying that the Seelies are really good at like giving you new locations. I totally accept that if that's how you guys see them. Um, for me, they've never done that for me, unfortunately. And I understand that like that's maybe just, just me. Like, I totally understand that. Um, for me, like the Seelies, um, <laughs> generally like have only ever been like this like little tiny nuisance um that have given us good items so like i'm not gonna say like oh they, 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 they did nothing for us um oh this is the village we have to look for yeah to get the items for the for the girl let's check it out we have not been here and it's in overrun by enemies so let's see if we can get some of those stones here then Empty chest. Good for storage. Yeah, you're right, Razor. You're right. Look at how happy everyone is when Nadia's not here, you know? Nadia's not here, you know? Nadia's Nadia is, you know, very evil. But Oh hold hands everyone. <laughs> Insane. This does not even like. And then we can play hot scotch with the hearts. Look. Not even fair. You know what I mean? We're, we have to admit. Not even a little bit fair. They're done. But, yeah, I agree. I agree. So around here in this location. Blows up. <laughs> nice. So there's a little mission over here. We're trying to find ways to see here. We might as well get this as well because we are looking for that one particular item, aren't we? Where are we going? I take you over here. And maybe over here. Uh, why, why don't we go here? Let's go here instead. At least he didn't go too far this time. 
you know? These things useful? Yeah, they're useful. Razor, if you find something for me, I'll say it's useful anyway, so don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Oh, we got a halberd. Who uses a halberd? Halberd's actually one of my favorite weapons. Yeah, in honor of Sayu. <laughs> like she passed away or something. Um, I don't know where... Like it says in caves. Is there a cave around here, I wonder? This village seems kind of spooky. Maybe there's a way around? It is a spooky village, but like... We came here specifically to find some stuff, you know what I mean? Uh, Paimon. Came specifically to find some stuff. That's a ghost. That is a ghost. Hug. Hold hands. The tree who stands alone has no forest to call its own. Hello? The splendid red autumn leaves parted ways through there, though there be no breeze. The glorious red autumn leaves parted ways on a passing breeze. Why are they ignoring us? Money, riches, is all a farce. A farce, I say. The further away from this village, the better. If we could only start all over again from the beginning. Look for the objective. The tree who stands alone. Look around in your village. Huh? Oh. They're moving us all into the chasm next week. The mine in Minion Village has run dry now. Please remember to take all your tools and personal belongings with you to seal off the mine entrance before you leave. And for the last time, please pay no heed to the rumors regarding Hong's letter and hidden, the hidden treasures. So I wonder, was this a mining village? And this is something that happens in real life. I wonder if it was a mining village. And because they were running out of things to mine... Because, oh sorry, it's because they were running out of things to mine. What tended to, what tended to happen then? And this is, a, I'm just going on based off real mining villages in real life that were like from like the early 1900s, late 1800s, right? Um, what would happen then is because of like a lack of like mining, uh, stuff to mine, a lack of jobs, you know, also like machi machinery was taking over like almost everything as well. You know what I mean? We didn't need people and at this t t moment in time, there still is, like, people who do mining and stuff. Um, but it's usually not seen as the most, like... Like... It's it's a hard job. It's a really hard job. Um, and I wonder, then, were they, like, kicked out of this village? Not because, like... Because there was, no, like, nothing else for them here. And that can happen as well, like, it happens in every era. That's not just, like, in the era that we're in that we're in now or the era that we're in this game. Like, genuinely, there is time. Is this, what, is this what they want us to find? And I say that just because, like, it's a, it's, it feels very real, if that's what's happening here. There we go, we got the one we needed. And I wonder, was this, again, we're probably going to find out more, but was this old man who we were talking to, this ghost that we were talking to, did he feel like the people who stayed didn't have, like, okay, didn't have, like, any, like, person, any, like, how do I say, it? I'm trying, I'm trying to, yeah. you know, <laughs> on the base of the little thing, they didn't have any, like, um, identity, because they had no one with them to, like, express themselves, like, Obviously, you can be a good person by yourself, and you can be yourself by yourself. Um, but there is always that question of like, okay, these things, you know, useful? if I'm drawing art and no one sees it, kind of thing, you know, is is that like still? It is still art, by the way. Um, but I guess I wonder. I wonder what's happening with. I want to see more of this village. I guess. I guess we can go around all the circle here. There's probably gonna be like a, a blue or yellow lighting as they usually do, like you know, for this. I 
see everything. Jesus Christ, that's not right, man. Oh, wrong button. It's not it's not right. <laughs> Right? It's actually like leaking. <laughs> Is this gonna be more of that thing we need there? Yeah, I wonder. Well, we're gonna find out more about it anyway. You know, we're gonna be going through this area anyway and, and going through the circle. Usually, like, if they want us to find something, they put it in, like, the most obvious terms ever. Hold hands. Like, it's usually like a yeah, and we have to go deeper into the, the village anyway. I wonder. Yeah, I wonder. Even better than I imagined. It's my I agree. Day. I agree. There's one up there. Let's go up that way as well. I'm guessing it's deep within the middle part of this village here is what we're going to find. And it's probably a boss or something. Gavin to go to loot new harbor. <laughs> no. Please, go to leave. <laughs> Calvin! <laughs> By the way, totally, uh, like, I want to make it clear as lost notes. Oh, is this what we're looking for? Exhortations of a dying man. The tree who stands alone has no forest to call his home, but the sturdy, the sturdy rock has a heart of gold. Unite and you shall share its blessings. This fortune hereby made known unto you. I say honor the will of your father. So we have to, like, look for a will. Off we go. Where there's a will, there's a will. Um, okay, interesting. The, 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 they talk about standing alone and being solid gold. It's like, yeah, like maybe if you are able to stand by yourself, it is consi you are considered very strong. You don't have to stand by yourself. So I'm guessing it's over here in this, this pile of rubble maybe. Or no, over here probably makes more sense, doesn't it? No? Maybe down here. We didn't even go down here uh, fully, didn't we? No. No, it has to be over here. Look at us in here. Did we not even explore this part? Uh, even better than I am. Having a blast with this game, by the way, guys. Like I said, this is one of my favorite games ever made. Um, you know, people were talking about the profits this game made when it first came out. Like, how quickly it made back, like, all of its money. And now, like, can you, like... It's very difficult, believe it or not, for a game to make back its money in this day and age. Um, back in the day... And this is just, like, like this is information I've gotten from, like, you know... Grain of salt, you know, you like, everyone could feel differently. But it's, it's definitely information that I've gotten from reliable sources. And that is that, like, when a game got a million... Like a million sales at the time. And this was like PS2 era, PS3 era, and the start of the PS4 era. It was considered to be like a gigantic success for a game to break a million sales. For a game to sell a million. Because video games, while it like is one of the biggest industries in the world, you know, not every game was a part of that million dollar industry. Like, especially during the 360 era. When what happened in the 360 era was like, it became very apparent that like online games were the way to go. And you saw every game trying to do, like, online functionality. And still do. Like, a lot of games still try to do online functionality. But, like, I remember, like, seeing the exact moment in which there was, like, a really cool shift uh, for me. And that was, like, seeing, like, single-player games, like, single-player JRPGs and single-player horror games, like, still sell very well. But, like, at the time, even, like, the only survival horror games that were selling, like, incredibly well... Uh, like in terms of like big bugs, like we were talking about like Resident Evil 6 selling 10, 10 million copies, that was massive. That was gigantic at the time. Um, but that doesn't really, that, that, still, that still happens with it. They sell millions of copies and it, that now it's considered like really good. That's why it's always so weird to me when you have like, you know, fans of video games being like, Resident Evil only sold 7 million copies? It what it's like that's a single player game of a, a single player horror game <laughs> yeah i bet you think that's good and it's like man that is like so impressive where is his will 
Is it in? It says look for... It says zero out of four, so... Down there? No, because then that's not in the circle. It has to be in the circle. Am I just... I could be. I'm not asking if I'm blind, but, you know, this playthrough says blind, so... Maybe I am. Oh, here. Jesus Christ. Lousy older brothers. All they care about is taking the best friends for them finds for themselves. And that's me, best friends for myself. And dad's losing it his old age. He's completely oblivious or is happy to turn a blind eye. I don't think they realize yet that the treasure is, is in this mine. I gotta get my hands on it and then and then get as far away from here as possible. Yeah. And to talk about like millions of sales, like you know, you look at a game like Silent Hill, which is considered one of the most legendary horror game franchises of all time. Silent Hill 2, which is the most popular of the of all the games, of the Silent Hill games. Didn't break a million. You know? Didn't break a million sales. Do you know how crazy it is that a game like Grand Blue Fantasy Relink, a game that I cannot wait to play when I'm finished uh, playing Reload and finished playing um, uh, Like a Dragon Infinite Wealth. Do you know how crazy it actually is? And I mean this. <laughs> For that game to have announced recently, we have sold a million copies. That is unheard of for a game like that. I don't know why did you deserve this. I finally managed to slip away while they were watching so I could be first to get the mine and the tr find the treasure, but where did all these monsters come from? I'm done for. Um, and I'll say this too. A big reason for that is that games are selling more and more all the time, but still it's so impressive for a game to get past a million in some cases. Um, but I will say as well, you know, we shouldn't have to worry too much about sales. We'll totally, I'd say we navigate to this. You shouldn't have to worry too much about sales as a consumer, right? But you do want games to do well. Um, are you, you alive? What was that? Oh, you are alive. Um, I will say this too, like also, I think a big reason why a game like Grand Blue Fantasy Relink can now do so well in the current uh, day and age. I, th I think I think it literally is like to, to, for because of games like Genshin, because of games, because of games like Genshin, because of games uh, like Persona, because of games. Like Final Fantasy VII Rebirth and Remake, um, I feel like you know, you know, JRPGs have been more and more, and RPGs, and especially RPGs like this, have been more and more breaking in to like the most mainstream aspects of video games. You know what I mean? More and more, even having games like that become like mainstream conversations. And like, here's the thing: we could say like, you know, well, Pokemon has a big thing to do as well. And the reason I say I don't think Pokemon has the biggest thing to do with it is that while I love Pokemon and we're actually playing Pokemon game on the channel now, a big thing about like Pokemon is that like it's not really considered like like those other games. It's it's a very mainstream game. It's the biggest franchise in the world in terms of uh, revenue. But yeah, sorry for going off on a tangent here while we're doing this. Um, I just wanted to talk about how like it's so impressive that this game has like probably made made all its money back being a free to play game and obviously having like it's some systems that like a lot of people don't agree with. But it's still to me it's impressive. I see everything. And like it's security, right? Like that's why like I'll never gatekeep games I love. Right? That's why I'll never be like, I don't want people to play this game. I don't want oh they're, they're, they're ruining my favorite game franchise. Like I never want that. And the, the pure reason for that is, you know, Scarlet Nexus didn't sell very well in terms of, like, overall sales, in terms of a JRPG. I'm probably not going to get Scarlet Nexus 2, even though I want Scarlet Nexus 2 so badly. You know what I mean? But I know that the more people that play Persona, the more people that played Final... Oh my god, look at this. <laughs> Nadia's OP! The more people that play Persona, 
Uh, the more people that play- I, I still- you guys have to explain this move to me, but I'll do it anyway. The more people that played Persona, the more people that, like, got into Persona. The more people that got into Final Fantasy- Final Fantasy. The more people that get into, like, Dragon Quest. The reason we're getting Dragon Quest 12 so quickly- and I know you're probably like, that's not quick. It is quick. It's quick for me. <laughs> it's quick for a Dragon Quest fan. The reason we're getting it so quickly is legit just because more people played it and more people bought it. So the more people that play the game you love, the more you're going to get of that game. That's why I'm like never going to gatekeep. I'm never going to be like, no, you don't, don't, I don't want these newcomers coming into my franchise. You know? I wasn't a big fan of Final Fantasy 16. It was the only Final Fantasy game, but the first Final Fantasy game that I wasn't a massive fan of, right? <laughs> But I'm glad it did well. <laughs> I'm glad it sold well. I know it didn't do as well as probably Final Fantasy 15 in its first few times. I'm glad it did really well. If I get more of my favorite games, I'm glad. Who wants to get Nadia, by the way? Sick. So sick. This team is insane. Hold, wait, under here maybe? I love little cave entrances like this. I couldn't do it in real life. That's why I'm always so glad for video games. <laughs> I get very claustrophobic. Yeah, sorry for going on a tangent about game sets. Because here's the thing, like, we as consumers don't need to worry about that stuff. Because one of the, the crazy things I always see, like, when people discuss games, is they'll say, like, I'll be like, oh, I prefer this game. They'll be like, oh, well, it didn't sell that well. It's like, dude, that's like, I didn't make money off it. Why should I care? You know, obviously you care so you get more games, but like when people try to use it as an argument of quality, it's like, man, who cares? The treasure will be mine. My brothers are such morons. They ran off gasping a couple of lines thinking they figured it out. <laughs> Honor father's will. Wow, there's only one line worth reading, I think, and that was the part about treasure being in the mine. Speaking of the mine, soon it'll all be mine. So what we're gathering here from this story is, is that what he meant by like, you know, you you know, the gold. They're looking for the gold. But he also was saying that like if you're alone, like you're not a, you know, you're not very power you're not very very powerful. You know what I mean? If you're all alone in this situation. These brothers went off and tried to trick each other, try didn't try to work together. We're trying to get the treasure all for themselves. And I'm guessing, judging by these wills, it didn't turn out very well for them. Didn't turn out well at all. See, it seems that they maybe like went, oh. Okay, that could have been a glitch, but the game is very good. And also this game's just really well designed. Oh my god, this is a treasure trove. He's he was showing off for us, you know. Which you know, fair enough. Let him show off. Oh, one second here. This quickens him though, doesn't it? <laughs> Oh my god, I still love that. That's insane. That's an insane move, guys. Now that's what I call treasure. Yeah, we have more than enough of these jade items as well. Which you probably like if we if we discovered the other village first, I'm guessing that we would have gone there. Oh, this is another will. They've left, they've all left. Young Ying. Yang Lang, Yang Shen, you foolish children, you have to think more carefully, you look hot. Okay, so he was basically saying that they all left. Congratulations. Now, now did they leave or did they like get in trouble when they left? Look at this guy over here. <laughs> he, he thinks I'm going to get dendroed. I see everything. <laughs> oh no, I got dendroed. Yeah, you got dendroed. <laughs> Hopscotch, 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 hopscotch. Does that feel good to get hopscotched? <laughs> Imagine your friend just dies behind you as you're still waiting for the enemy. Hey, hey guys. Hey, Dendro. Yeah, it's fr it's inc this move is incredible. That, that, like that's so OP. 
And like, by the way, the people who gave me the 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 stuff, please comment down below so I can like credit you all at one go. I don't know if you want to be credited in the video. The Wing Village Mining Crew is to be dispatched into the chasm starting next week. Please remember to take all your tools and personal belongings with you and seal off the mine entrance before you leave. Yeah, we read this before, didn't we? Or we read a version of this before. Man, this was so sick. And this little story as well. Like, how, how, like, this makes the world feel so, like, so like it's breathing now, doesn't it? It makes it feel so alive. Will we have to find the treasure ourselves? Not sure about that. <laughs> Sounds like it's caused a lot of trouble. Is there a cave nearby? Is it itchy in this? Find a treasure. Is there a cave nearby? I'm not sure Spend where time. we can find the treasure then. Huh? Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Is it in the tree? Another it is. The tree stands alone. Freaking insane. Now you're burning. I have something for you as well, by the way, guys. Watch this. Not even fair, is it? Life's not fair. Well, yeah, okay, so that makes sense. It looks like guys from earlier. The tree stands alone, has no force to call home. The splendid red autumn leaves part ways through there no breeze. If I could take my brothers and fathers at their word. So these guys are brothers. The glorious red autumn leaves part way on the passing breeze. The treasure lost everything all because of this treasure. Trees should uh, blend their roots and shade for that uh, where the home is made. Children were supposed to be a family. You seriously thought I hid a treasure in a mine? There's a treasure though. Do you still remember the tree we planted together as <sighs> He... Man, that's insane. So he planted this treasure like as like something that's a memento, a memento of their family, something that they did as a family, and they went off and did something that they did separately, which is work in the mines. I come here every year and put a little something inside, hoping that when you're older, we can dig it out together, and then use it to buy some treats, a, a bottle of wine to celebrate together as a family. Talk about old times. Oh, children, my dear children. He was with. We'll take it. And some other stuff too, okay. Man, insane. So like, yeah, so he like, gave, gave them every hint in the book. He said, bros, like, think of our family, you know what I mean? The tree that stands alone. Interesting, and I think an unbelievably interesting story. It makes the world feel way more lived in. We now can confirm that ghosts exist in this world. Um, get Dendro maybe. Oh god, sorry, I meant to Dendro both of you at the same time. Oh, all three of you, I mean. Look at this. Get Dendro. It's insane what we can do with this. Just making sure that it stays. <laughs> like it's it, like genuinely insane. The stuff you can do with this. Get 
I would say stop hitting me. How did he? How did he hit me that much though? <laughs> like out of nowhere as well. Oh, sorry. I see everything. I would say stop hitting her for a second. So this is where we have to be more strategic. These are three enemies that are actually tough to I pressed the wrong button to dodge. Hold on a second. We can do this. Don't worry about it. This is just a bump. This is just a blip. Adventure time. Ashley? I forgot for some reason that these guys like d like weirdly like take no damage and they're like the weirdest like enemies to fight. Like I don't know I don't understand why like they take so little damage. Wait, I, I, I dodged that for sure. Kind of wondering what's happening now. Honestly, we need to get a hold of this guy. What? 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 Okay. I understand that I'm not the best at fighting these guys, especially when there's three of them around the place. But I also would like it acknowledged. And I'm not trying to be like, oh, like this game's stupid. Because that's not the case. I think this game is really, really good. Um, like some enemies are annoying. <laughs> some, some enemies, like legit for some reason, just like have the weirdest, like dirtiest, like move sets. In the history of the world, am I wrong in saying that these, like these guys so far, especially this guy with the gun, he was annoyed us before, has been like the weirdest like enemy to fight. A lack of a lack of fun is where I I just put it. Like I, I know that sounds so silly. It's gonna be like Calvin, you're saying it because you're losing. I mean, we keep, we're gonna defeat these guys, right? We're gonna defeat them. But that doesn't change the fact that it's, it's like, I just find this guy with the gun with, like, the infinite freaking... You guys probably know how to defeat him better. It's so silly. And he has, he has hyper armor for a guy so skinny. Like, we could hit him with, like, a, a Garmin. And he'd be like... Are you, like, see what I mean? And then we have this guy hitting, hitting us with a freaking bat. Bennett, get back up, please. Oh, what is that? This guy with the gun. I'm telling you. Leave me be. Like, I don't know, man, like, it's like, it's, and you guys know, I like to, I like to stay a little bit calm when I'm playing a game. This is just, look at this, look, at this guy with the gun with the hyper armor. It's the only thing in this whole game that has not made sense to me still, to this day. It feels like an enemy that you would put in a game just to be annoying. It's like, Jesus Christ, how can we make this guy more tough? Let's give this guy hyper armor. Why does he have hyper armor? Is he big? No. Is he tough? No. He has a gun. Oh, what you mean? So he's gonna be shooting you really annoyingly from the side? Yes. Okay, he's gonna shoot us really annoyingly from the side. Does that mean you're gonna get? He's since he's shooting you really annoyingly from the side, you should attack him first, right? Yeah. Is he gonna do a lot of da damage? Yes. <laughs> Man. I'm sorry, like, I think this game is incredible. I've talked about this a million times, how, like, I praise the hell out of this game, and I think it's absolutely one of the most- It's my, one of my favorite games of all time. That one enemy, that one enemy is just like, why does he have hyper armor? Why? Okay, so the next thing we're gonna do then is probably just go back up to, um, we'll do that small mission and we'll just finish off this, uh, we'll finish big business. Uh, and we'll end it there. Um, yeah, I think, I think, I think I've earned, I think we've earned the right to complain a little bit. You know what I mean? About- a freaking enemy that for some reason has hype armor when they're skinnier than they're skinnier than enemies that don't have hype armor who we like the hilly churl boys for example don't have hype armor the big hilly churl boys don't have hype armor you get what i'm saying like the the, 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 the biggest hilly churl guys with the, with even with the shields don't have hype armor but these guys are have these like i don't know i don't know there's no point complaining now. 
It's not going to change anything. We just have to learn how to defeat them better. Maybe there's a way to defeat them. You guys know. The veggie team assemble. Yeah, yeah. He's trying to calm me down. <laughs> also, our elements probably didn't mix with that team very well either. So, I have it. Take him. Take him, please. Now give me the stuff. Not bad, I'll take him. Here's the invoice. Take care of him now. All right, then. You best be off. Best best you be off. The person who hired you must be real bundled nerves right now. Yeah, because you charged me to get back stuff that wasn't yours, girl. Smart. Now I'm, you know, I'm going to sit in your chair. Sit right here. It's going to be awkward for a bit. It's going to be awkward. It's going to be super awkward. Talk to Landa, which is back here. Perfect. Did you find the invoices? Found them all. Oh, thank you, truly. This is wonderful. I'm so glad nothing went wrong. If these invoices were lost, I have no idea how angry my boss would have been. You want to ask what business these invoices were written for, don't you? I'm sorry, I really can't tell you. It's a secret. Well, here's your remuneration. Uh, Please take it. Wait a moment. Why is this box been opened? You met someone on the wild who took a, took a look at it uh, after picking it up? Oh, I'm dead. I'm dead. This will do. I have to tell the boss quickly. Oh, don't worry. I'm not suspicious of you. I mean, I did my homework regarding your... <coughs> Well, I need a way to contact my boss. Please carry on with your business. So really cool that this guy was like, hey, I did some research on you. I know you're not terrible. Um, adds context to the story, right? Adds really cool context to the story. But, but, but we can honestly say that was a really fun episode. It was a crazy episode. We did a lot in this episode. Um, but I want to thank my patrons for just being so cool and being so nice. Uh, and the can never repay the baby gangsta tier, which is Tie Fire 2, Jamie Bull, Janet the Banana, Smidge, Rachel S, the Ghost of Inazuma, Felicious Felix, George Candelaria, Eskun, Yuld, Radish, and Poke Girl. Thank you guys so much. You are the reason that I get to do this a lot, and I thank you. Bennett, send them off. Shit!